guys it is Dylan here with another episode um, in fancy craft and um, please excuse the uh, background of my computer um, I'm using blue stacks as you can see and it's not really going as great as I thought it would be going um, I'm using my new Elgato to record this but um, I thought this would be able to like go to full screen and it doesn't seem like it can um, so it's not really as cool as a um, app player or Android emulator as I thought it would be but um, I'm gonna have to play this game with a clicker or a keyboard and not my like hands with my um, tablet like I always do or my gaming remote I'm gonna have to all do it straight from my hands or my clicker so um, this is going to be a series of um, videos on how to go ahead and build a nether core reactor. I know I did a series on this before, and so most of you guys might have watched it. Um, but I didn't really show you how I can get the nether core reactor going and the whole process to getting it done. I know I've started a lot of series, like I'm still doing my Pixie Craft series, and you guys will be able to see. Um, on my tablet because I can't get a Samsung device recording on my PC it's not gonna work out that great so you're still gonna be able to see videos but it's gonna be with Mobis in the recorder I use I am gonna go ahead and try to use X split recorder for some of the videos um, because I kinda think it's a better software um, than Elgato because of how easy it is to use Elgato kind of is complicated in, in two ways one it doesn't really record the audio of the game I can't hear anything actually right now in the game and uh, I can't even hear my own voice um, on the microphone um, so I'm not sure if you guys can hear it but I'm still planning on releasing this video but the thing is is it sometimes slows my PC down and I am using a laptop actually um, and it's a brand new device but the thing is is it doesn't it's kind of the lowest quality laptop you can get for the price and it's not really that awesome I mean it's still a really great device but at the same time I can already see that I'll have problems with it um, later on in recording it's not gonna be the best device to use for recording so right now I am just trying to go ahead and collect materials to go ahead and um, build a house I guess and let me go ahead and do that I kinda don't want any creepers or zombies to come after me so I'm gonna try to build this as quick as I can um, first things first in every house you make you have to go ahead and build a little hut or a little like shack I guess and I haven't seen any zombies or creepers yet and it seems like since the last time I played this game there's been an update I think and now there's a new world because before um, there was the same world over and over and over again and that was kind of annoying because I kinda knew where everything was even though that was helpful I still wanted to have a little bit of a challenge and it didn't really provide that um, by playing the same kind of profile so I'm gonna try to build a door or something right now let's get on top of here and just put one piece here and then from here I can just put the rest of the stuff down just like that and like that and I'll just just put these wood blocks over the top here and then I'm gonna wanna build a door so nothing comes and attacks me so let's go to here, craft, crafting table, let's put, make some wooden planks first, craft one of those, place it there, and make a door. So um, I'm not sure how awesome this is going to be to record, I'm kind of not really liking the PC version I know a lot of people play Minecraft on their PC um, I used to but um, I never I actually was able to play with a remote a gaming like controller and I can't do it with this it's not as um, like you'd like how can I say it's uh, it's not as compatible 
and it doesn't feel the same. It's kind of laggy and it's kind of awkward. Um, I am currently uh, recording um, the, with the Elgato, and now some of the games when I use the Elgato, they kind of get uh, kind of glitchy after I play it because um, this computer has a great memory card. Or, I mean, uh, a lot of memory, uh, good graphics card, but it doesn't, um, it can't process everything that fast. Uh, it, it doesn't really do good with setting up softwares and stuff. And that's why I think XSplit is going to be the best thing for this uh, computer. So, this is the first episode in my series. I hope you guys enjoyed it.